Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from dancefish.com and something happened today that I've never seen before so I wanted to share it with you and what it is is this. This is a tank of Kochu Tetras, a nice sky blue tetra and they did this. Let's see here, can we see it on the glass here? There it is, now you can see it. So those are eggs. They've laid all these eggs up here above the water line right at the water line. There were a few right down here, but they've eaten the ones that were under the water line. And that's really interesting. I've never seen a fish do that. That's not snail eggs. The only other fish in here is a couple albino bushinos plecos. It's definitely not their eggs. So um, they've spawned and they spawned actually right up at the water line, which is interesting. What I would have thought they would have done is laid their eggs over here in this luscious java moss that covers a good half of the aquarium bottom but but they didn't or maybe you know up here in the java fern um, I've never seen a tetra uh, do this before I know that some of the copella species will I've spawned splash tetras so they, they spawn higher above the waterline than that but besides that I never saw that before I, I thought that they would spawn in that delicious moss um, yeah that's really interesting to me just that behavior to spawn on the glass up right at the waterline didn't think that's what these guys would be doing at all but anyway I, I just thought that was interesting so I thought I'd share it with you um, yeah it's funny you think you think you know how tetras spawn right they scatter eggs that are non-adhesive usually in uh, in java moss or in uh, uh, filaments of algae stuff like that um, but that does not appear to be the case with the uh, kochu tetras so anyway I I'm really busy I probably don't have time to scrape those off and incubate them and, and raise the babies or anything so uh, it won't be cataloged as a successful spawn because I didn't raise them, but still really interesting to see that. Never seen that before. Anyways, I just thought that that might be cool to note in case anyone's trying to breed these fish, that that apparently is how they do it. All right, I hope you have a good one. Until next time, bye-bye.